Hi there. My name is John, and I'm coming to you from Souk, British Columbia in Canada, and today I will be demonstrating how to configure the Sonatus FX Equalizer plugin in Sonar 8 Producer Edition with the same configuration as the EQ of a classic large format mixing console, the Euphonics CS3000. I will also show you how to save this setting as a preset in Sonar 8 so that you can call it up any time you may need it. Here are the EQ specifications for the CS3000. I found these by pouring through the owner's manual, which is available online. There is a high-pass filter and four bands in the console EQ itself, a high shelving filter, two mid-range parametric EQs, and a low shelving filter. For our example, I will start with the Sonatus Equalizer's default setting. Before I do anything else, I'm going to double-click on the Presets window and type in a new name for my preset. Euphonics CS3000 console, and then I hit the save button. This will prevent me from accidentally overwriting my original setting. The Sonatus equalizer defaults to six bands of equalization. Disabling or re-enabling bands is simple. All you need to do is click on the band toggle buttons. To emulate the CS3000, we only need five bands, so I'm going to disable band six and move it out of the way, dragging it to the far right. Note that dragging in the EQ graph window is one way to adjust the cutoff frequency and the gain of an EQ band. In this case, we're just moving band 6 to the edge of the screen to keep the interface clean. Let's configure our bands to match the defaults found on the Euphonics CS3000. Note that the gain on all the filters except for the high pass filter can range between minus 15 and plus 15 decibels. In general, however, you should avoid any boosts higher than plus 6. The high pass filter on the input section of the CS3000 is fixed at 100 Hz, 18 dB per octave. Let's set band 1 to high pass, double click the frequency box, and change the cutoff to 100. In Sonatus, when you set a band to high or low pass, the Q setting, the bandwidth, operates as a resonance control. After a bit of internet research, I learned that a Q setting of 1.6 will result in the steepest cutoff available without audibly boosting the frequencies just above 100 Hz. Let's configure band 2 to be our low shelving filter. The default cutoff on the CS3000 is 82.4 Hz, but the Sonatus equalizer only allows whole numbers, so we'll round that to 82. In the Sonatus Equalizer, the Q on shelving filters can range between 0.3 and 2.0, so let's choose 1.0 as the default, and you can adjust it as you require. Note that in the CS3000, the low shelving filter can cut off as low as 20.6 Hz and as high as 330 Hz. As a default parameter, let's keep the gain at zero. Moving on to our low mid EQ, we'll use band 3, which is already designated in the default setting as a peak dip. The default cutoff frequency here is 330 Hz, but note that in the CS3000, this is sweepable from 41.2 Hz to 1320. The default Q on the low mid is 0.51, but this can be adjusted to a minimum of 0.32 and a maximum of 11.6. We'll use band 4 for the high mid EQ. Once again, this is a peak dip filter with a default cutoff frequency now of 2640 Hz. On the CS3000, this band is sweepable from a low of 659 to a maximum of 21,100 Hz. Similar to the low mid EQ, the default Q on the high mid is 0.51, adjustable to a minimum of 0.32 and a maximum of 11.6. And finally, let's set band 5 as our high shelving filter. The default cutoff for this filter on the CS3000 is at 10,500 Hz, sweepable between 1,320 Hz and 21,100. As with the low shelving filter, we'll set the Q here to 1.0, although it is not configurable on the CS3000. Click the Save button, and voila! The default setting for the CS3000 is now available within Sonar 8 whenever you call up the Sonatus Equalizer by pulling down the Presets drop-down menu and selecting it as your preset. This was a fun assignment. I had to track down information on a good large format console and then review the specifications to determine the values. Then, recreating these values in the Sonatus Equalizer presented its own challenges, as some of the functions didn't match exactly the functions in the mixing console. I hope you found this lesson useful and informative, and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, and have a great week.